my garage floor drain went from this to this and I'm going to show you how I did it. Hey everyone, welcome. So here we have my uh, floor garage drain cover, which obviously doesn't sit quite well in its form. And we can see some pretty big spacing all around. And the area where this drain is located is going to be my new workshop area. A place where we can try things, learn things, and have a fun time doing it. So now here we're just taking a quick look around. We can see there's a lot of dirt and debris everywhere. And there's uneven elevations, right? We got a high spot just like this one, which we're going to have to get rid of. So let's get into it. So firstly, we're going to clean it up. Then we'll mark some of the high spots so we know what we got to shave down here. Let's get away with the grinding. Please use a masonry blade for this job. If it ain't working, check the blade and you're probably using the wrong one. As you probably noticed, I have the shop vac set up on the side running to uh, take in as much dirt and debris as possible because I don't have the guard with the shop vac attachment. So this is the best that I can do. Please make sure you're wearing your safety goggles and your dust mask and maybe even some heavily used Crocs. So now we'll just clean up all that dust and debris here and get a better look. And we'll put the lid back on here or try to in this case to see what adjustments we have to make to get this thing to fit here. So as we can see, it's not fitting. So I'm just gonna check where I need to take some more cement off and uh, right on this corner. And then we're gonna go and, uh, and attack it right here. As you can maybe hear in this clip, this does make a lot of noise. So another recommendation would be ear protection. So while I'm doing these cuts here, let's just talk about what other videos I have in store for the future. Uh, for this workshop, there is a crack on the other side of this floor, which we'll be fixing. And I also have a plan to resurface the floor, as you'll see later on in the video. Some of the floor is all pitted and, and stuff, so we're going to fix it and then hopefully do an epoxy on it and share that experience with you guys. So if you want to stay in touch with all that and see those videos, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. So now that it's all cut up we're gonna drop in another test fit here and there it goes it goes right in now as I drop it in I don't really like the contours of the drain there's a lot of high spots here I know I'm supposed to resurface the floor later in a video but I can't stand looking at these things so here I am just marking up a couple of the high spots and I'm gonna take them away with the angle grinder not all the way down but just down a little bit more to make it easier later on since I'm already here with all the tools out in the and the shop bag. Look at this thing. Isn't it beautiful? So now that we got it fitting extra right, we're going to take a quick pass with the broom here, make sure we clean off a little debris, and then we'll pass with the shop vac. And now it's time to get messy. Here I am using Unicrete's repair cement and as I'm mixing this I'm realizing that I forgot to do one little thing and that's apply duct tape yes I'm putting duct tape around the inside of the hole here and what that's gonna do is it's gonna act like a little barrier to prevent anything from spilling over the side and into the basin you'll see why in just a second and then we got to make sure our concrete is nice and wet so that it bonds really well and before it dries in our bucket, because we mixed it earlier, and here we go. So we'll, while I'm staring at the camera trying to put this down at the same time, um, you can see that duct tape kind of doing its job, right? It's holding up a little bit of this cement. And we don't want to put too, too much, because when we put down the lid, what that's going to do is it's going to squish it down. It's going to create a nice, even surface for the lid to sit on. So doing this job, I am looking for better, not perfect, right? In a perfect world, we would have like the new homes have, you know, a plastic basin and with a perfect lid that just clicks in. Uh, we don't have that here, right? And to put one in, it was just, it's just way too big of a job. We'd have to rip up all this concrete, run new pipes and ain't nobody got time for that. So here's a new trick that I learned recently is that you can use WD-40 as a releasing agent. 
the cement won't actually stick to it. So we put the WD-40 side down, right, into the cement. And after the cement dries, we should be able to pull off the lid with no issue. And now we just fill up any remaining gaps. You can be a little sloppy with this, but we're going to come back around with the sponge after, and that's where you're going to shape it and make it nice. And now that that's done, we're going to wait about 24 hours and we'll come take another look at it. 24 hours later, it's still not completely dry, but that's not going to stop me from pulling off the lid. It's dry enough for this and see how it fits. But when I pull it off, there's a little piece that chips off. Not a big deal, you know, it's still an elevated area, so we're going to have to come at this with the floor grinder later on. Um, and yeah, it fits pretty nice. We're going to drop it right back in. It fits like a glove. Time to make the lid a little more attractive. It isn't the prettiest thing by any means. It has a bunch of years of paint, of rust, you know, a lot of imperfections on it. I could take this thing to my buddy's sandblaster and have it sandblasted. But for now, we're just going to sand it down, clean it up, and give it a little fresh coat of paint and primer. It's going to be black, uh, but we don't know what color the floors are going to end up being yet. So we can always change that. That's why I don't want to go full bore on this thing. Later on, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll clean it up a lot better and, uh, and, you know, make it match the floor. Maybe I'll even paint my logo on it. While that primer's drying, we can come back around and clean up all this duct tape that's around the edge. Notice all the cement falling in. That's why we removed all the water from the basin. But uh, now we'll just go and clean up all that stuff before we put all the water back in. And now our last step is just hit it with the black. I hope that covered everything for you. See you all in the next one. Cheers.